Yeah, go on. You, uh, what, what I was saying is, having a physique like Joshua don't mean to say that you're going to be the best boxer, does it, Bunny? No, but look at it. That's all it's all until. Yeah, well, I'm just saying like the, your physique, same as Joshua, and you're 57 year old nearly, aren't you? You've got same physique as him. Obviously, you're a bodybuilder and that, but. It don't mean to say that you can go out and wipe Andy Ruiz out, does it? Or you could you could drop a clanger having a fight with some fat guy and drop a clanger, couldn't you? Well, what I will say to you now, I will say to you one thing. If Dennis got me a ring and it means stomach, it has to hit me two or three times. But if I were on steroids, it only has to hit me once and I'd go down. Why, 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 what's that mean? Because that only looks part steroids. Mine's natural, so it is part. Mine is yeah, but why were Joshua struggling with them body shots? He was struggling with body shots, and Ruiz isn't a big puncher, you know. I know a few of my mates who's got a better six pack than me, and they don't do a sit up. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've had, sh I've had a shower with people in prison. I've been in prison showers, and I've seen people getting showers, and they say, "Porky, my abs are better than yours." You know, when I used to be a gym, when I was a gym orderly. I thought I had a proper six pack, but some people, I'd be like, how many sit ups do you do? Because I used to do that crunch set 500 straight off in about 10 minutes, you know, in my pad. Because you've got no what to do in Jay Lavi, you know yourself, don't you? Now, I'm going back like 1997, 96, and this kid said, I've never been to gym in my life, Porky. Obviously, you were uh, of Jamaican descent. He'd never been, he'd never been gym in his life. He looked like Frank Bruno stripped off, mate. Some people have got good genetics, aren't they? Ah, uh, yeah. But obviously, Joshua, is he going to make any changes, Bunny? Was there anything wrong? Is is Joshua weak in certain areas? Because Dave Allen said to me, he's big and hollow. Well, in the clinches, when he was trying to walk him, Dave said he could walk him easily. He was shocked. But he couldn't yeah. walk that Daniel that Dubois. Bad. Hey? That described him well, hollow, he was hollow. Yeah, hollow, he said he was big and hollow. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was feeling every clout he got, he's fucking everything. Every what? His fitness level was down, his mouth was wide open, he was sucking for air. After he one round he was sucking for air, did you notice that? Yeah, correct, I watch everything, I watch his veins in his neck. His veins don't start popping out well six or seven now. So oh, Joshua's veins? You know a racehorse, when it finishes a race, you see drop on it and it's veins popping out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like you, Bunny, when you've had a session on in gym. <laughs> well, Joshua, Joshua like that on warm-up. N not nervous training. energy. He's, he's, got, he's, uh, he's not been training like he does. Could it have been nervous energy, Bun? Don't know what it were, but he's been nervous before. Fucking hell, clitch going front here. Yeah, he was nervous then, wasn't he? Yeah, but he still put he still put a good show up. He had his mates with him and they were training with his mates. And they, were all, they, were, yeah. they were all pushing each other in gym. Do you think, Bunny, that the uh Do you think he's been found out the the, the con do you, do you think the uh think he's been found out? Yeah. Yeah. Chink in his armor now. What mate? He's a chink in his armor. Little fat bulk, nobody can drop him now. Yeah, yeah. You know yourself, school, you know school, him at school, what the cock in school, you know as soon as he lost. Yeah. Everybody in, everybody in school was banging him out, even him, little four eyed kid, what we're getting picked on, even he banged him out. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will like that when I went to comp. Yeah, I was fritting the. I was fritting the one particular person. I'm not even going to mention his name, and. Uh, when 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 he had a fight with somebody and got beat after that, it, I, I felt more confident about myself, and and I waited months, and then eventually we bumped into each other, and I just stuck it on him. But I was fritting for, for seven eight months of him, because they were all saying, "Oh, he's the cock him. He's from a certain area." Because you go from different catchment areas to one school, don't you? Yeah. And I, well, and I, 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 I yeah. Jamaican last one, but cock at school first, I caught him. What a lad! Oh, the last. Ah, that's the scene of me. Don't come bother me. <laughs> oh, bunny. I, I wanted to pack it after a few weeks, and I then fucking pack it after the day we had all the way through school. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Do you know, fear, the word fear. It's like when I went, well, on my 21st birthday, I were in, I were in, I were a YP in old jail, right? I'm going back 91 October, 19 for October. And on my birthday, they came into my cell. It says, what do you want? Screws. They said, you're going over to adults. You're 21 today. I went over and they put me in a cell with a guy called Dennis Norton. Now, you might know his older brother, John Norton from Sheffield. Have you heard of him? Big John. I do. You know Big yeah. John, do you? He's a Wednesday yeah, fan, isn't he? He's from up that way, isn't he? You know of yeah. him, yeah. Well, I ended up in the uh, same cell as Dennis, bless him, and he's not here with us now, but... And I was I were threatened to death, but he was sound with me, but there was a guy on the landing at the top called Paul Sykes. Have you heard of him? No, oh, I know that Sykes, yeah. Paul Sykes, the heavyweight boxer. Anybody out there, go and Google Paul Sykes always, at large. Always, uh, yeah. He was always in and out of jail. Yeah, yeah. Well, he did two screws in, didn't he, with a five kilo dumbbell. Paul Sykes at large. And uh, I, I was in jail, he was in jail with me, and I was threatened of him. <laughs> and everybody was scared of him. He says Yeah, he, uh, he, were, he were proper dangerous. He smashed two screws at we. Smallest dumbbells in gym you could pick up. You know, really like dog bones. He did two screws in with them. He had one in each hand. I was like, Jesus Christ, am I locked up with people like that? 200 kilo, he's, no he's dead now, 200 kilo he was squatting, 200 kilo squat, well he, were every, he, he fought for the British title didn't he, at heavyweight, he was a very dangerous man, and uh, he was in jail with me and I thought to myself, God, how am I going to deal with something like that if it's on top, well you've got, you know, you've got to scold them, haven't you, or whatever, you've got to fight for your life, haven't you, but, unbelievable man. Be like being padded up with somebody called Dylan White and you don't get on with him. Or Purple Aki. <laughs> Purple Aki were following me on YouTube and leaving some comments. If it were him, but we blocked him, I think. But yeah, so you think that Joshua uh, had fitness problems then? Who, who, where does that fault lie with then? His training team? Uh, yeah, McCracken. Yeah. Say that again, I didn't hear you. Yeah. Who's to blame for his fitness then now? Is it his trainer? His self. His self? What, his cardio? I like that McCracken. That McCracken had pushed him and pushed him and pushed him, but it seems like McCracken must have been a yes man. Yeah, McCracken don't get involved with the fighter's cardio. Carl Frotch used to get up and do a six mile run in 35. Do you know me? I've trained with people and they toss it off and toss it off. Do you know what I say? Fuck this, I'm not training these. Oh, they start training them. Do they? Ah, they, they don't want you to tell everybody that they, they want to see some of their ass. They, they just want to train and go through it. Yeah, so your clients that you have, right, if you say that to them, does it G them up? Yeah, a couple, a couple of, well, you know yourself, I train police officers, prison officers. As soon as I see them slacking, I don't yeah. tell them while everybody's there, I just go in gym, I go in changing room and say don't bother wasting my time so much. Don't you fucking, do, do, you, do you overcharge them because they're fucking prison screws and plod? No, not at all mate, everybody's equal. Really? Uh, I couldn't do that mate, I couldn't do that. How could you do that bunny when you've been in Borstal? Cons, prison cons, I don't charge them. Yeah, but don't don't you feel like that you want to? Do you feel like you want to hammer him in gym because you've been in Boston and they're a prison screw? No, not really. No. Are you over, are you over all that now? Ah, uh, past it. I didn't actually do Boston, me. I, I went straight to jail. Did you? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I got my Boston, when I got my Boston, it changed that year to DC. So, but it was the same rules, it's just that Borstal was six months to two year, wasn't it? When I got my DC, it was just three months, you know, and I was 16. DC was three months and nine Three and four, three and four DC, wasn't it? Yeah. Three or four. Four that for the... That one, they had to make the bed, didn't it? And make the yeah, yeah, I did all that, like bed packs. They were like army and that, wasn't it? I hated it. I preferred it in, well, in all, laid in bed all day with a radio. <laughs> good discipline, man. Good discipline, man. If I, if, I come, I'd, if I had my own jail, they'd never do no wrong again. Yeah. But when they come out, they'd be 50 people in their life and very clean. Yeah. Yeah, you're very clean, aren't you, Bunny? Yeah, like uh, cleanliness.
godliness is godliness, Ross. Yeah. You reckon? Have you got a bit of OCD going on, Bun? I'm, uh, I'm still talking to thee now, Bannister, and I'm, I'm checking on that. Why don't you come down to the factory tomorrow and we'll have a session on, on, on weights in factory? I'm like a robot Monday to Friday, pal, I ain't got time. Well, what, you're on night shift, aren't you, with lorries, aren't you? Yeah, I've just uh, come to pick granddaughter up now to drop her head to grandma's and then I'm off to work. So what, what do you think is going to happen with Joshua now then, with fitness wise? Will they change the team? Will Ed's roll, Bunny? Will they have to have... Will, will somebody be getting blamed for this? Where, what went wrong? The big inquest? Because that's what this I video is called, the inquest. I think there's only Joshua. Joshua knows that McCarkin's a good kid, so he's not going to blame him. He's gonna, he should have listened to him and he weren't listening to him. Do you think that's what's happened, like yeah? He, he looked like he was listening, but he weren't. I yeah, but we a lot of a lot of a lot of people this trainer talking to him, and then when they go in ring, I think well, he's not done no what he's just told him. But that's where he's supposed trainer supposed to jump out rope and say, "Hang on, are they listening to me? I'll get fucked off. I'm not bothered who they are, like Alex Ferguson did with David Beckham. Yeah, I'm not bothered who they are. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's right, well, maybe. Alex Ferguson threw his fucking football boots face at him. He said, get fucked off. I'm not bothered that famous you are. If it's you're right. not going to do what I want you to do, we're going to lose. So fuck off. Who did this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want yeah. Alex in one a loss, did he? So he, he, he got rid of Beckham. And put like the new people involved, Ronaldo, and what, what happens? Like for like. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. It's, uh, you don't listen to the trainers. You don't listen. And the trainers, you say, oh, you're not listening. They, they're too laid back trainers. They think, oh, you can't have a trainer what thinks. He didn't listen to me, dear, but nobody else can see that he didn't listen. Everybody sees it. I see it. And how I do, I don't look at boxer and think, you're not listening. I look at trainer and think, you're fucking prick. They're not doing the job. He's not listening to them. If he's not listening to it, he's going to lose. Yeah. Don't you think he listened then to instructions in corner at night? No, not at all. He told him don't. He told him don't go in on the site, didn't it? Straight away, he was wanting to attack and get rid of him. Yeah, but he's, he, he can't tired. fight on back foot, can he? Joshua was tired and he thought, right, I'm tired. I've got to take this kid out. But that's yeah, that's right. what that's that's what Peter Fury said, didn't it? He looked to take him out, didn't he, straight away? Peter said that. Well, have you spoken to Peter? No, I've just seen some things that he said and I've heard. I haven't spoke to him. But uh, that's what he's supposed to have said, that Joshua looked to get him out of there once he got... But why not? That He's a natural finisher, isn't he, Joshua? You would do, wouldn't you? Well, if he's not been to him, and he's always doing, I'll get him out early, I don't have to go distance. I tell you what, you his chances of beating Joshua now have got better, haven't they? Yeah, you will not get a pop yet. You always got to have got another ten fights, haven't it? Yeah, that's look. That, no, well, they're saying that they want to. They want to get stuck in now, but if they want to get stuck in now, why do they have that fight overnight? Because that was poor, wasn't it? You will put a better show up than Joshua, doesn't he? Yeah, you would have done better against Ruiz, wasn't he? Hundred percent. Yeah, he's done better. Peter's old school. Peter's one of them trainers that I like, but if you're not listening to him, you just said get fucked up. Yeah, oh yeah, if, Pete, if you're not listening, you know what Peter's like. He doesn't have any messing about in that gym, does he? Oh, he's a mad person on training, he wants to fight at all. Yeah, he don't miss out, Peter is meticulous. Once, ta once Tyson started with his games, he were off. He didn't want to know. Do you know what I mean? If Peter sees it in your eyes that you're not interested, well, if you're not interested, he's all better off. Yeah, you're not interested. It could, so there's loads have gone to that gym, isn't there, Bunny, that have not, that haven't lasted, isn't there? So they've, they've had one of his workouts and he's thrown him to me with a bit of, bit of grass and, and they fucked off next day. That Asian kid jogged on, didn't he? 
Oh, I looked like a bastard. Eh? He, 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 should, he, should, he would have been a world champion. Eh? Would he? Wrong temperament, oh, though, aren't he? Peter, Peter said it's a shame about him, wasn't it? I said, why would he would have made a champion? John Peter said he would have made a champion. I looked at you with that, with that, them eyes. Yeah. I know what you mean, mate. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But, uh, well, anyway, no worries. Just glad to touch down with you, Bunny. Uh, this will be up in the next couple of days. Probably a free part of this video. Alright, mate. This will be the third part of it. So, Alright, mate. Keep your chin up. Keep in touch. And I'll try and get to see you this weekend. All right, mate. Right, man. See you, money. Right, Cheers, pal. Bye. That's my pal, Bunny. Who strength and conditioner for Yui and Savannah Marshall. I brought Bunny in to do strength and conditioning, and Robin Reed to do pads for Yui's camp with pool often. Obviously. It, would, it didn't work out, did it, for Yui, but Savannah won, didn't she? But, good strength and condition, guys. You know, every night before Bunny goes to bed, you know what he, do, he does? He drinks a cup of kettle water that's hot. Because apparently it settles all your insides down. It's something that the Chinese do. And they live longer than any of us. Right. For example, this is why they say you should drink room temperature water. Uh, I hate driving over holes when I've had my wheels done. But uh, I'm just going to show you a, a picture of one of my wheels now I've had them done. They're a bit dirty though now, I need a wash. But uh, no seconds. That's for Jonathan who asked me. So what colour did you have him done, Porky? Black. But, uh, for example, do you know if I throw a cup of water on you that's cold, you're going to jump up, aren't you? Right? You'll jump up and you'll go, that were cold. And you, or you'll scream. But what do you think... What do you think your body does when you drink ice cold water? The inside of your body, what do you think it does? It screams, doesn't it? Because you do when you, if I throw a cup of cold water, you're going to go, <gasps> Well, this is what Bunny told me. It's in Chinese. So what they do, they drink hot water at night and it settles down everything in your body that's happened for day. And if you just close your eyes after, you close your eyes after, and just relax, because, for example, right, another thing he's told me, and it, and it makes me relax, another thing, do you know, you know us as human beings, we're constantly blinking all day, all day, we're constantly blinking, and the only time that we don't blink is when we're asleep, now, this is why there's there's a lot of a power in relaxation and I think, is it Helen from Birmingham, the, the lady who told me about the yoga thing? I want to get in touch with her about that because I'm, I'm always stressed out. I, I'm, I'm always stressed out and bad tempered and I'm always losing my rag over something but... Uh, but your eyes, constantly, they're always blinking so every now and then, Bunny reckons that, and he says the Chinese do this, every now and then if we go like that just put your, just put your fingers, just put it, shut your eye and just put it onto eye while you like lid shut and just sit back like that and count to 50 with your eyes shut and don't speak apparently it's really relaxing and if you do that it's the only time in the day that you'll get your eyes to relax because you're constantly on go and if you're like me if, you, if you're catnapping or you're only getting, say for instance, four and five hours sleep, it's, it's not good, is it? 
it's not good at all but just little things like that just stop and shut your eyes put your fingers on them like that just shut it like that just do it for one minute in the day it's quite relaxing that and drink a cup of kettle water at night because like I said to you cold water makes you jump if you throw it on you well what do you think your body's doing inside when you drink it it's nice to have ice cold water isn't it but to relax that's why a lot of people drink tea in it tea drinkers because it's hot in it but water cup of hot water at night so I'm gonna start doing that tonight I always say this on a Monday but getting back to Joshua Bunny's not going to blame McCracken. Well, somebody's got to be blamed, aren't they? Somebody's going to be a casualty. So, who knows? Will it be Eddie Earn? Will Eddie Earn get the blame? I don't know, but like I've just said to you, somebody is going to cop it. And it'll be interesting to see who, won't it? So, so I can't believe I've just dropped that down there. Unbelievable. So, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. I think I think we've exhausted the Joshua. The Joshua mess, haven't we now? You know, we've hammered him, haven't we? You know, we've put loads of inserts on taking piss. You know, he's copped it for a few days, so it remains to be seen what, what the next few videos are gonna be about. But I'm looking at doing something totally different. Uh, who knows, I might do one about something that's not boxing the season's coming to an end now there's only a Dillian White show now isn't there that's going to be any good now but Joshua got beat didn't he he's going to have to learn to move on with his life and learn to learn that he's not invincible and all that talk about him being 50 and 0 and blah de blah and they were never going to get loads of pay-per-views were they really uh, and beat Joe Louis' record but he's had nine pay-per-views and he's only beat one good kid out of them nine so as far as I'm concerned they lifted our legs didn't they so it's called karma he's took it like a man but really behind the scenes he's not going to be humble there's going to be people who are going to be erupting and if his dad's erupting there's things that Joshua can't say on camera so when you get a lot of people like that it's hard to keep a lid on it and keep this fake persona up, up, do you know what I mean, like Mike Tyson went mental didn't he, and Tyson lost plot as well didn't he, so it's just one, one of them things isn't it, it's one of them things, it's boxing isn't it, it's boxing but peace out, keep on trucking and keep following the channel, I want to thank all them people who follow the channel because it's going in the right direction now and I'm really pleased, alright, boom, turn this